Hey, buddy, what you got in the box? Does that say cannon on it? Wait, that's my box. Why do you have my box out? Oh, no. You're not packing me up, are you? What did I do? It's, be it's because I don't have sea log two, isn't it? I knew that would break us. And here we are. But remember everything I've done for you. Everything we've experienced over the last two years. I only overheated a few times. Are you saying you don't, you don't love me anymore? Well, today's the day. It's the last day, actually the last few hours I have my Canon R5. This camera really did elevate my photography. It's an amazing and exceptional photography camera. In a lot of ways, it really did enhance and boost my filmmaking abilities as well. But about a year, year and a half ago, I was introduced to a camera system that quite honestly, I hadn't even ever thought of. This is it. If you're new to the channel, maybe you don't know, it's the Fujifilm X100F. If you've been around for a while, you know that I really enjoy this camera and have enjoyed it over the last year, year and a few months. And this is what got me inspired and sparked my interest into Fujifilm cameras. Again, prior to like a year ago, Fujifilm wasn't even on my radar. I was dead set on having just Canon. I was completely fine with Canon. I had shot with Sony previously for about three years and I had moved on from Sony and was really loving everything Canon. Honestly, I didn't think I was ever gonna, I didn't think I was recently going to switch from the Canon R5, quite honestly. I thought this was a camera that would be in my bag for probably five years. It's been in my bag now for two years. I am selling the Canon R5 because Quite honestly, I'm just not inspired to pick it up anymore. There's just something about Fujifilm that has really made me excited. It's kind of like Leica. For some people, Leica just has characteristics that are just amazing and people love it. And that's kind of what's happened with Fujifilm. So I'm getting rid of the Canon R5 to switch to... So um, yeah, I'm switching to the Fujifilm X-H2S. And what's crazy is, is that this is actually a cheaper camera brand new than the Canon R5 is used. So I'm actually make, making a little bit money of money on this sale, but I got excited about this camera for a couple different reasons. And I'll, I'll share these first impressions with you. The first is just the characteristics and photos. I've loved the photos so much that I've taken on the X100F that it translates over to the X-H2S. The megapixels are almost the same. I think it's got, 26 in this one and 24 in this one, but whatever, megapixels aren't everything. But just the characteristics, the the way it looks, skin tones in the Fujifilm, the photos to me, I just love the photos coming out of Fujifilm. And that's what gets me excited and made me want to make a switch to the Fujifilm. But then on the video side of things, the F-Log2 within the X-H2S is really, really good and beautiful. And quite honestly, I think it matches better with the C-Log2 and the Canon C70, which I'm shooting on right now. The R5 only has C-Log3, which is not the best in my opinion. It's not the greatest. It, the dynamic range just isn't there to match with something like the C70 and C-Log2. But the dynamic range with F-Log2 is much more on par with the Canon C70. And because of that, the images just, just looks really, really good. What's really neat about this camera is that it shoots 6K open gate. So that's a three by two ratio versus a 16 by nine ratio. What's great about that is you're getting something that is less wide and you're getting something that is closer to like a square. And what's perfect in editing is that you don't always have to shoot vertical content. You can shoot horizontal, which, you know, if you're a true filmmaker, you love shooting horizontal and you don't want to have to shoot portrait for everything for social media. But we all know if you're shooting 16 by nine, cropping in to portrait nine by 16 is terrible if you shoot horizontal. So shooting open gate and three by two, you're getting now more information. You're, you're getting a taller field of view so that when you crop in, you've got more to work with than you do in a 16 by nine or a 17 by nine image. And so that is great. Not all of my clients want social media cuts, but some of them do. 
And I don't want to shoot everything for them in landscape or in portrait. I don't want to shoot everything for them in nine by 16 portrait. So having open gate is, has actually really come in handy for me over the last two weeks. And I like that a lot. Now, one thing that I am having to get used to with this is that the native ISO is 1250 versus 800 on the C70 and the R5. And that's a big deal when you're shooting outside and it's really, really bright. My variable ND is only a two to five stop ND. And the five stop sometimes is not enough to be able to control my shutter or make sure my shutter is at the 100, 180 degree rule. Again, that's just something I'm having to get used to. And I'm gonna have to get another variable ND to be able to compensate for that. But where it makes up for where the R5 didn't do great, is in scenarios where I'm shooting indoors and I don't have control over the lighting and the lighting is lower. Now all of a sudden I have a native ISO that is 400 more than the R5 and this performs a lot better. So those are just a few things that have gotten me excited about the Fujifilm X-H2S and the reasons why I'm moving to it over the Canon R5. There's just more character here. There's things that inspire me way more out of the Fujifilm cameras than my Canon. It's not about which of these camera systems is better than the other. Really, it's about which camera and which system is allowing you to create work that you are proud of, work that inspires you and inspires others around you, work that delivers in a way that your clients need it to deliver if you're working with clients. That's what it comes down to. I see the benefits of shooting with like a Sony FX3. I see the benefits of shooting with some Panasonics. I see the benefit of shooting photos with Leica. I, I see the benefits in all these different camera systems. But at the end of the day, it's your choice. And it's up to the kind of work that you do and what you get inspired by and what you love and what you're seeing in the camera and what you're seeing when you go to edit and what you, you know, different colors and skin tones and just the way you want to manipulate your images and your films, that's, that's what it comes down to and that's a personal choice. So don't be so influenced by some random person like me on YouTube. Make your own decisions. Try different camera systems and see which ones excite you and inspire you and go in that direction. That's what, that's what this is all about. The Canon has been really good to me. I've had a successful business with Canon cameras and I'm grateful for that. But right now I'm not inspired by the Canon R5. So that's why it's gotta go.